Hi guys, welcome back to Color Me Natural. Today, I'm coming at y'all with a college video. I told you guys I was starting my college series and so I have a video for you guys. Um, naturally, I'm wearing my college gear, got my hat on, got my sweater on, <laughs> um, because today we're gonna talk about first weekend. Now this is for freshmen mostly, but also for transfer students. Um, so I'm basically, basically going to be telling you five things to remember, have in the back of your head, write down maybe, um, that you need to remember for first weekend. Now first weekend, if you don't know, is the weekend where you first get to school and you're moving in earlier than everyone else. You do activities with your floor or whatever, however your school does it. My school does it with um, our freshman floor. So whoever you live with on your floor, you do activities with them and you're fighting against other buildings, freshman buildings and freshman floors and it's fun. Um, and you get to basically just stalk your campus and figure out what what's on your campus um where your classes are and all this stuff so i have five tips that i know that i could have done and some of them i did and some of them i i wish i did so let's get started okay so let's get started if you guys see me looking down and looking at my notebook where i wrote a lot of notes <laughs> so just like just so i can remember everything i have to tell you guys okay so the first thing I have is to set up your room. Now, I understand first weekend you have activities, you have all these things you have to do, you have to maybe meet with your advisor, um, but after all that, you're gonna be tired. You're gonna wanna come back to your room, lay down, or go chill with some people that you just met, all these things, and you're not gonna have time to set up your room. So as soon as you get there, try to get there the earliest possible. So when you get there, you have your family and your friends, your boyfriend, whoever, to like help you set up your room so that when you come back, you're chilling. I made the mistake of not setting up my room when I first got there. I also got there a little bit late. So I got to my room and I literally had my grandmother, my grandfather, I don't, actually, no, I mean my grandfather didn't go. I know it was my grandmother, my dad, my mom, my boyfriend, my sister and brother, and I still didn't set up my room. I didn't take advantage of it. I set up my bed because my grandmother, you know how grandmothers are, set up your bed, set, make up your bed, make up your bed. So I did that first, but that was basically it. I didn't have time to do anything else. So set up your room, be comfortable, so that when you walk back in your room after activities, you're like, first of all, my room is fly, yes. I look great in this room and my bed is made and I can lay down and relax for the rest of the time until the next day. Um, so that's a little tip that I thought might help you. All right, so number two. Number two is was hard for me, but it's so important. Meet new people. Now this is naturally gonna happen because you have so many activities that you're going to do with your floor or anything like that. So just, introduce yourself say hi my name is so and so and you know what's your major or what classes do you have it's really interesting to find out people's majors and what classes they have because you guys might be in the same major you guys might have the same classes so then you don't have to walk to class alone you don't have to i don't know do whatever you can meet with people after class or before class to eat or something like that so you're making friends and you're doing this all in the first weekend um, I made the mistake of really kind of staying to myself. I talked to a few people on my floor, but not very many. My roommate and I were always just, we were always together. And so I could have met more people during first weekend, but I didn't, I should have. Now, I don't know how other schools are, but for my school, you spend most of your first weekend with your floor um, or whatever sport you're doing. If you're doing a sport or something, you also spend time with them. But I spent most of my time with my floor. Um, I don't know if other schools do floor or building or hall i don't know what they do but um however your school works out just meet those people introduce yourself to those people and even other people in other buildings or other floors you never know the connections you might make <laughs> okay um looking at my my handsy dandy notebook um three find your classes i did this and i was never oh, i've never felt so thankful for thinking about this because I would have been so lost my freshman year. Now I'm a, um, a theater major, so my classes were like off to the side, down, and some classes were like in the basement theater, and I would have been so lost 
if I didn't go check out my classes. So what I did with my roommate is we waited until around nighttime when you were done with your activities with your floor and we went to the main building where most of the classes are. Um, I had a class in the main building and also in our science building. So I just printed out the paper that tells me where my classes are and we went and we basically just looked at all our classes in order to figure out where they all are. This helps so much because if you have an early class or even if you have an afternoon class, you don't wanna be late. You wanna be able to wake up, know where you're going, be there early, be there on time. It's gonna help a lot. It's gonna make you feel real good because I was like, thank goodness. I watched other people like scurrying around. I'm like, thank God I know where I'm going. Um, so yeah, that's cool. Make sure you do that. Okay, number four is Oh, make sure you have your books. Okay. I made sure I had my books my freshman year, but that's mostly because my parents and my grandmother were like on my ass about it. Like, girl, get your life. So <laughs> I made sure I had all my books and stuff, but I know so many people couldn't find their books. Um, the books were too expensive. Now for my school, they make it available for you online. So you can basically buy your books online or set them so that when you get there, they're reserved for you. Um, so that's a good thing, but I didn't do that. I bought most of my books online. Also, be careful with buying your books online because there are so many websites that will jip you out of your money, so many websites that won't communicate with you the right way, um, or you'll get your book and it's been like two weeks and you already don't know what's going on in class. So make sure that you have your books early. Um, I put this in the first weekend because sometimes um, it definitely helps to be able to go to the bookstore. In some campuses, I know the bookstore is open first weekend, so you can go there, you can pick out your books or pick up your books and see what's going on. And because you're first there, you get like almost, almost first dibs um, on books. So that's really cool. So make sure you have your books so you're not behind and you don't look crazy in class, because I've definitely done that. It wasn't my freshman year, but I've definitely done that before. Okay, number five. Um, Oh, talk to someone from home. This was something that I I kind of did, but I kind of neglected to do, and later on it kind of like smacked me in the face. Um, as soon as your family leaves or something, you're gonna be so busy doing everything, setting up your room, doing your activities, and doing all this stuff, and you're, you're really not gonna wanna talk to your family. But later on, you're probably gonna be laying in bed like, I wish I was home right now, or I miss my mom, I miss my dad, I miss my boyfriend, and I miss my friends. So call someone from home. Just call someone and, and thank them for, I, I called my, or I think my grandmother called me later on after I did not call her. Um, and I just thanked her for everything. I think, oh, I think my parents, my boyfriend, I was like, thank you so much for everything that you did for me. You know, you helped me get there and all that stuff. And even if you're not calling someone that, come, that helped you move in, call a friend and just say, hey, you know, I'm at school, I am, loving it but i'm kind of a little homesick it's gonna help you if you're homesick because you know that there's always someone there they may not be there in front of you in person but you can always call them and you can always you know just vent and let stuff out and let them know how you feel you know so that really really helps um that was something that i saw a lot of people struggle with and i i was the one to say hey call this person, call that person. Luckily, I had my best friend at the school with me, so if anything happened, I was just like, Carly, uh, come to my room immediately because I need to talk to you. Or like, Carly, let's meet sometime. And it's really funny, it, when you know someone is there, you kind of don't talk to them as much because my best friend was here, and be, no, just knowing that she was there with me really just help me relax either way i didn't have to see her every day but just knowing that if something happened i could be like oh, carly was so comforting um so knowing that you have that friend that you can call or if you decide to go to the same school as your best friend it definitely helps um not saying follow your best friend but go do what you're gonna do have fun um so yeah that's all i have those are my five tips for your first weekend freshman transfers i hope this helps you even graduate students you know I don't know, this might help y'all too. <laughs> this can help anyone. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you wanna hear more college videos, you have any questions for me, just leave it in the comment below, the comment section below. Um, subscribe, 
thumbs up for freshmen or people going to college. I hope you enjoy it. It's the, almost the end of my junior year, but I know a lot of you eager, eager high school students are probably already looking up college stuff or shopping for college. And I'm so excited for you because I know how excited I was when I was a senior, even a junior, I was so excited. But yeah, so that's all I have for you guys today. So subscribe, thumbs up this video for uh, college and I'll see you guys later. Stay inspired, stay motivated, stay confident, and I love you. Bye.